um, what a uh, how to build a DIY uh, uh, that can hold up to up to 300. This is the Johnson 90 horsepower. It has um, Johnson 90 horsepower. It's uh, 301 pounds. Uh, Otherwise, you can't do it because it's 300 pounds, very heavy. Um, and uh, as you can see here, what I did was I started with this 2x4 here. I cut two 2x4 two with a 15 inches cut. Okay, about 15 inches. So, so that uh, these two will sit in an angle so that the outboard will not flip over when you mount it at the outboard. In the, in the front um, so the mouthboard will be sitting back you know and then I have two supporting um, two supporting two by four there and remember keep in mind you need to use a three inches wood screw or drywall screw doesn't matter okay I use the wood screw uh, three inches to to build this so you know after you cut it the first thing I did was I cut these three pieces one two and three and then I uh, drill uh, two wood screws through and two wood screws through there and once I have this piece built I cut another piece up here um, I cut another piece here uh, across to connect to connect um, this angle to piece and this angle to piece so that now I have a square okay I have a square and as you can see here I drill two screws down two screw in and then I have a square and um, once I uh, finish this creating this square then I can mount these two um, I actually use the uh, uh, plywood that I have so I was able to you know double it so that I didn't have inches thick you know or um, yeah something like that you know this is two inches thick so this may be more than two inches thick so I don't know why Maybe this is one inch thick each. Okay. So, yeah, no, so hardest part is to cut that piece, cut this piece in an angle. Same thing with this piece. Cut it in a, in an angle here. With this piece here, cut it in an angle here. Uh, and also the bottom of this piece, you need to cut it in an angle and cut it in an angle. And then you will be able to drill um, the screw from here down to here. Um, and then same thing here, from here in, from here in, from here in, from here in, from here in to here to lock it in there. Uh, this piece is easy. You can just drill this. As you can see here, I just drill through to, uh, to stabilize this one. And also, I think over here, maybe even uh, from the bottom there. Um, so, but, but before, before I build these two pieces, two supporting uh, two by four, I um, built another square. Okay, which is one here to the back, one two by four to the back. As you can see, um, what I did there is I just build another piece, uh, build a square. The most important thing you want to do is you want to build a square, you know. So uh, I did finish putting another piece here to give it a better support, which I did back there. You can do that, and as you can see, I didn't need it. Um, but you can always do it. I mean, uh, you, you put a, you know, the stronger the outboard uh, stand, the better, you know. But I will just use the minimal. Uh, I did the minimal. There. This is the two inch, not the four inches or three inches or five inches uh, caster wheel. I just use two inches, the least expensive uh, caster wheels that I can find from Home Depot. Okay, so. There you have it. So I'm gonna try to start this motor now. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, it's a, and uh, you gotta have an engine lift uh, to, board, to 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 lift this engine up. Otherwise, you, you can't do it. You know. So, anyway, so I'm gonna try to start this elbow now.